In LibreOffice 6.1, our community has made some great new features and updates. Two new icon themes have been added, Colibra, which is now the default on Windows, along with Karaza Yaga. Image handling has been improved, so documents with many images will load and display more smoothly. It's now possible to sign ODF documents with ECDSA keys on Linux and macOS. For shapes and backgrounds, a new set of fill gradients is now available, while the background images dialog has been redesigned to be easier to use. The online help system has been extended with example files to help you see how features in the software work. It's now easier to customise toolbars and menus thanks to the new gear button in the customise dialog. And thanks to our worldwide community, the user interface has been translated into additional languages, while dictionaries and autocorrect tools have been improved for many languages as well. In the header and footer menus, new options let you quickly add page numbers and page counts. The EPUB export feature has been improved and gives you more options for customising metadata. It's now possible to generate a signature line using Insert Signature Line. New chapter numbering styles, which spell out cardinal and ordinal numbers, are now available. Finally, performance when converting documents to XHTML has been greatly improved. In Calc, the spreadsheet, images that are anchored to cells can now be sorted. In addition, there are now three anchor types, to a cell as usual, to a cell with resizing when the cell size changes, and to a page. The Options dialog lets you customise cell highlight colours. When you're merging cells, the dialog box now shows a graphical depiction of the process in advance. When you're linking a sheet to external data, CSV files can now be used as data sources. Parallel formula compiling on the CPU is now supported for a significant performance boost. New drawing styles have been added, while existing ones have been cleaned up. The menu in Draw was reorganised to be more intuitive and a new page menu was added. In LibreOffice Online, the cloud-based version of the suite, many new dialog boxes have been added including spelling and grammar, cell formatting and area fill. In Calc, it's now possible to collapse or expand any group of columns or rows with a single click. Finally, performance and security has been improved as well, making LibreOffice Online a great complement to the desktop version of the suite.